Here's the review you've all been waiting for. Join us at Tennis Warehouse as we compare the Dunlop CX200 Tour 16x19 and 18x20. The Dunlop CX rackets combine classic control and feel coupled with modern speed. The two rackets we're comparing today share the same head size of 95 square inches and essentially a lot of similarities, including a strong weight around 11.5 ounces, an RA of 66, a speedy weight around 315, and beam thickness of 20.5 millimeters. What makes them different? A more open 16x19 string pattern versus an 18x20 string pattern and a leather grip. Players craving all the control and feel will love these rackets and might find these as great platform frames as well. This is one of those play tests where I didn't look at the specs before hitting these rackets and I'm really glad that I did because I think initially, based on what we're working with, I might not have enjoyed the play test as much as I ended up enjoying it. So let's talk and break things down. In terms of power, I'm giving the edge to that 16 by 19. It was really fun to hit out with this racket. However, sometimes I felt a little lost in the sweet spot. It's a very forgiving 95 square inches. I would say both the 18 and 20 and 16 and 19 have forgiving 95 square inch string beds. However, I did prefer the control, precision, and feel when hitting that 18 by 20. I think I need that extra control off the baseline and especially off my returns and for whatever reason I was so dialed in with the 18 by 20. I'm calling the 18 by 20 my turnkey racket whereas the 16 by 19 is a racket that I definitely would play around with customization. I would add a bit more for sure to up that swing weight, bring up the mass a little bit. I did struggle a tiny bit with stability on the 16 by 19 which was unique because I didn't have the same problem with the 18 20 and they're almost identical in terms of weight and spec in that regard. Um, on serves, I am giving the edge to that 16 by 19. I really loved hitting big flat serves with it. And I found my second serve kicker was awesome with this racket. So I really could get up and over the ball and loved it there. Um, all in all, the 18 by 20 is the racket. Again, I would turnkey take right into a match tomorrow. I would love to play around more with the 16 by 19 though, and just see if I could get it dialed in and feel even better for me. Here in my hand are two rackets that I really enjoy playing with. For this play test, I was actually asked to decide which one that I maybe preferred more a little bit over another. And this is like choosing between two really nice guitars. I had a very difficult time. Although they are similar, the beams aren't really any different. There are some contrasts that we can discuss. So overall, the racket I have here in front with the black grip, that is a CX200 Tour 16 main. And in back with a leather grip, we have the 18 main version of it. I have it in front because this one ends up just being a little more user friendly, a little easier for me to play with from any part of the court. I think the extra launch angle afforded by the 16 main and a 310 gram frame weight as opposed to 315 grams with the 18 main just clicked with my uh, game a little bit easier. Both afforded me a very plush feel. I've mentioned in the past I haven't had a lot of experience with uh, pro stock frames and it wasn't until I was playing with uh, the first generation of when Dunlop was applying the Sonic Core Infinergy technology to the upper portion of the hoop that I ever really get a feel for it. Uh, and now when I kind of uh, am playing with pro stock frames, I kind of compare their feel to the CX200s. These frames feel as good as anything that I've ever played with. But again, um, in terms of an overall sense, if I was going to play a tournament, I would probably reach for the 16 main of the CX200 Tour. Overall, just a fantastic play test for both rackets. As soon as I saw the update for these uh, CX rackets, the 200 Tours from Dunlop, I was pretty excited to get out and test these. Um, I have a long history with Dunlop rackets. One of my first uh, ever player rackets was the Dunlop uh, Mfil 200. Um, so had a long history testing the different uh, 200s, even for a little bit when Dunlop called them the 2.0s. And uh, just really love the control feel aspect of these rackets, the thin beam, um, that uh, level of control, precision. Um, I also like with these that uh, the stiffness is kind of like in that mid 60 range, I think right around 66 for the stiffness rating, but they still feel uh, comfortable and plush from that uh, Sonic Core technology that's built inside the frame. So you get that kind of firm, crisp uh, pop on the ball, um, kind of like maybe um, a 6-1 racket that I used to play with. Um, but still good comfort there. Um, between the two, um, in stock form, the 1820 was really nice. Um, it's just a little bit heavier, five grams. 
you know, got that leather grip on there, that nice firm feel to the handle, to the bevels. Very precise, great on flat shots, great at the net, tons of touch and feel, and just beautiful on the slice. Um, maybe just, I would add a little bit of swing weight to it. With the 1619, I just got a little more forgiveness, a little easier use on, or from the baseline on my top spin strokes, uh, forehand and backhand, easier net clearance. And I really, really liked it on the spin serves. I could get a lot of action on the top spin and kick. So if I had to take one to battle, being that the specs are so close, I'd probably go 1619. And also just to uh, shout something out with the new 1619, this one, uh, string spacing is more evenly spread apart, whereas the previous version, it was really tight in the middle and open around the perimeter. So I, that was a big fix for me with this update, and I'd go with the 1619. I'm gonna start out my comments by saying I think Dunlop absolutely nailed it with the response of these two rackets. Beautiful play test, uh, just love the feel of both. When I was hitting, I really liked the feel of the 1820. When I was playing points, I liked what I could do and I liked how easy it, it was to win the points with a more open string pattern. I was just getting more of the ball going through the court. I was putting points away quicker. And then with the dense pattern, I found I was hitting a little short, the ball was sitting up a little bit and giving my opponent either a second look or even a, a chance to attack me more um, and put me in a def defensive position. Whereas with the open CX200 Tour, I didn't have that issue at all. I like both the net. Again, you got a ton of control and feel out of both rackets. Silky smooth, yet precise response. The 1820, uh, definitely the more precise of the two at net. In fact, from anywhere on the court, it is the more precise of the two. And then with the open pattern, you just get a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit sense of a bigger sweet spot. Um, good pace and spin on serve from both because I like the way the mass came through. Um, so yeah, really, really fun play test for me. For the review today, we strung up these rackets with Dunlop Explosive Red at about 52 pounds, sounds like. Um, for more information on these rackets or anything else tennis related, be sure to go to Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only.